Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back to Replay, everyone. Hope you're all having a great Friday. I'm Andrew Reiner. We're playing Jedi Fallen Order. This is a Star Wars game, as you can see, with the double-bladed, is that an orange lightsaber? Uh, very cool. Canonical, right? We got Marcus Stewart here. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, chat. Happy Friday. And also Dan Tack. What's up, buddy? Hi, everybody. I'm communicating with home base uh, right now, just making sure all of our dials are tweaked. Great to have you here on Replay again. As you may know, today we have a, a pretty cool giveaway going on. Uh, Ryan, do you want to... Well, I guess we can wait for more people to show up. Marcus, you want to turn yeah. this on up just a touch? Sure. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be... We're playing all the way through this game. We're, what, four or five hours into the stands? Six, we're seven? Like I don't know where we're at. This, this is hour seven, I believe. Okay, cool. And... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we're, you know, we're going at our own pace, as we do in a super replay. What is a super replay, you ask? Well, it's a full playthrough of a game. You know, nobody ever thought of it until we did. <laughs> we were the first. I mean, we could argue that. Replay goes back <laughs> over a decade. I think it people does. believe it. <laughs> yes. It does. All right. Coin the term, let's play. Oh, yeah, we were, we were yeah. ahead of that. You know, we just decided to yeah. let everybody else use it, you know? Oh, that's good. <laughs> Oh, we boy. also invented the metaverse back then. Oh, uh, can, can we can we not invent that? Let's go. Let's can, take it back. can you like <laughs> undo un, it? Unpatent it. <laughs> oh, the Wookies! Oh, that Wookiee's ah, getting set on fire! Oh, look at him! Chic. I told us. Oh man, we should be on Dathomir. <laughs> you had <laughs> your fun last week. And oh no, I'm getting choke slammed. Well, this is a good start to today's hey, episode. It, it actually is a good start. Well, not the choke slam, but yeah, these our sound fire... are going through nice. Look at this. Yeah. These fire guys are not great. Yo, let's kick off Friday with a hype train. What do you say? Thanks, Duke. You got us one. Two more people come in here. You know, we could have a hype train kicking along right now before the stream even starts. That's pretty beautiful. Duke, oh. what's up? I'm dead. Uh, Marcus, Marcus is struggling. Oh, this is just great. Marcus, this is making my weekend right here. Oh, oh. <laughs> I tried choke slammed by K2SO. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to heal or while that I was droid. getting choked. What is the, the name of that droid? Does anybody in chat know that uh, droid type? K2SO was obviously the, the one from um, Rogue One. Uh, Marcus, and who will be in Andor? Ooh, what are you saying, yeah, Dave? Rogue One. I like Rogue One. You want to turn me up like 5%, 10% maybe? Turn you up? Just a, just a smidge. Okay, I can do that. All right. You're turned up. All, all right. right. You are wow. Good. You are all turned. Sweet. Sounds like Yu-Gi-Oh time. Internal Squeak, what up? Dude, we got a lot of great people here in chat already, and we are just getting started. Um... As you may have known if you were here last week, this week we're going to give away an issue of an unannounced cover. <laughs> we can't tell you what it is yet, but I assure you it's yeah. what you're going to want. Issue of Game Informer Gold from a forthcoming issue, uh, magazine yep. next month. Uh, you'll be seeing that on February 1-ish. February. In February. <laughs> In February. <laughs> I like that date, yes. There we go. Maybe in January. I don't know. We're figuring it out. <laughs> the moving target. Hey, you want to see something? You want to see something cool? <laughs> Look at. It. There we go. That's what we're talking about right there. What do you think of this, Dan? I think our sound is good. I think that's an awesome. What is that? Is that a helmet? Can you wear that? No. Check this out. This is like Indiana Jones here. Eating monkey brains. Oh no, chilled monkey brains. So there's, it's missing the clear plastic piece that keeps the popcorn inside of here. Wait. This is a Mandalorian popcorn maker. I mean, that is just about the last thing this world needed, honestly. <laughs> Seriously, like, I, I, why not, Dan? Popcorn makers. <laughs> this is like the last, the last product that needed to be made, but okay. All right. I love it. I love it. You can, you know, cooking it up right in Boba Fett's head. Yeah. You're going to love Boba it. Boba Fett? Yeah, All right, Boba Fett. I have, I always called him Boba Fett. You did? Oh, damn. When oh, I was a boy. kid. I don't Bo call him that now. Boba Fett. The book of, the book of Boba Fett. <laughs> what? <laughs> Boba Honestly, you know, it's Mando Popcorn. That's right, Holly. Right. Great, thanks for being here. Boba Panda, Fett is what's you? Up? 
This is the heart of the cards working in stormtroopers. Oh! Troopers. I mean, oh man, I didn't even realize that was low on health. Everything works on stormtroopers. It Except does. Marcus, apparently. <laughs> if I had my Dark Magician deck... Stormtroopers, like, just fall over. That's that's their whole job in life. Yeah, that's what they don't tell you when you sign up. Or you think it checked? We Never mind. <laughs> yeah, we thought the Jedi were scarce because, you know, there was evil forces at work here. But turns out they just die left and right. I mean, PTSDs and <laughs> rats, giant rats. <laughs> I mean, I can see the giant mechanical thing since this guy's supposed to be a Padawan, right? But like the stormtroopers, the stormtroopers can't. Stormtrooper, I, I would be surprised if a stormtrooper could ever be. I want to see if I can save this Wookie. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, never mind. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if you can get realistic. to him. These, these stormtroopers are beating Wookies. There's no way. There's just no way. I mean, they have fire. The, again, flame trooper is a different kind of stormtrooper. That yeah. argument can be made. It's the he, ones with blasters that are doomed. Yeah. Dude, these Wookiees are like soaking wet, so the fire really shouldn't have much effect on no, them. No, you know what, Marcus? I forgot about the seaweed Wookiee phenomenon, and now it's back. You've ruined them for, again for me. <laughs> what, if, what if they're drenched in gasoline? <laughs> I mean, they work around all this industrial equipment and ships. Yeah. It's probably bound to happen. Yeah. Yeah. And that Oil fur and probably. Gas. Oh, that fur probably soaks it right up. Yep. Yeah. Get out of there. All right. There we huh. go. Don't like you. Nope. All right. All right. Look at this. Okay, you guys are nothing. I'm just gonna do cool helicopter oh. stuff. Just... <laughs> <laughs> the guy wasn't having it. <laughs> Look at this. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, Zang, the line about Imperial Stormtroopers being so precise with their blast uh, marks is All right, where is never, you know, a never-ending source of hilarity. It must have been the only, like, sand crawler they ever shot at or something. There we go. All right, get out of there. But I guess that's a pretty big target, you know? So it should just be one slash on that leg and it's done, right? Oh, yeah. This fight should be two seconds long. Oh, right, we that's got the a, trouble we got making a... Star Wars games, right? <laughs> We got a question about your new podcast. Yeah. Um, Duke Faison, about the new pos podcast, is it music, band related, comic book related, or Star Wars related? Uh, it's comic book related. Uh, I would say all things what? comic books. We're recording the first episode tonight. Oh, Ooh. I didn't know that. That's exciting. Yeah. Okay, let me heal, buddy. I know I can push that thing back. I'm just... Oh afraid to at the moment. Alright. Bestie oh. Hammer, you know, you have to, to nerf Jedi, way. you have to nerf lightsabers, you have to nerf Superman. There's a lot of things to translate to a game that you have to make a lot less powerful than they really are. Otherwise, there's no game. Hey, when you say yeah. that, do you think a lightsaber can cut through Superman? No. Really? Canonically, like, We've seen lasers so. not hurt him, but you think a lightsaber would just... It'd have to be a kryptonite lightsaber. There you go. There's the arc, DC. Make it happen. Oh, yeah. that could be the crystal in there. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that what a green lightsaber is you this know, whole time? It's honestly, that would actually be a pretty sweet story arc. <laughs> Let's write it! Yeah, and another galaxy kryptonite is just a kyber crystal. I, I can no, 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 really get out of there! Oh. Yeah, you know, I, I understand completely where you're coming from, Bestie, but, like, you know, in, uh, in enthusiast circles, we have these conversations all the time, right, about, like, X couldn't ever be beaten. And it's true. Like, a lot of this stuff is completely overpowered canonically, so that to make it a game, you kind of have to, to just to send, suspend a disbelief, disbelief a little bit and, like, just take it as it comes. Because yeah. if you're playing this stuff, like, with its real values or whatever, like, true to the whoa, series, whoa, whoa, true to the franchise, oh! Whoa! See, like, that could never happen. <laughs> <laughs> right, and you missed it. What is happening? <laughs> Oh, I'm seeing it, yeah. <laughs> oh, he was doing a little dance. He got a little a little shuffle on the pole there. I like that. Oh, my goodness. Careful. That is wild. But yeah, I want to know. Anyway, yeah. All right, I'm going to save know, this Wookiee. I'm going to save him. <laughs> there are so many, like, characters in fiction that I are saved just, them! Like, completely ridiculously overpowered. When you bring them into a video game, you either have to, like, write a, a big what? excuse why they're weak, or you can just kind of like let the player, you know, 
make the determination because it, it's terrible to have to like write a whole game about like somebody's weakness to like have the game work. Yeah. Like it, that just makes it really complicated. Yeah. That's, like oh, yeah. every enemy he fights will have, you know, force dampening powers. That's the only <laughs> way we can make this happen. Yeah. The the lightsaber is definitely OP, just like Superman's OP. And yet you got to give him health in games, right? He can't be invincible. <laughs> yeah. But there's clever ways to write about that. I don't know. The lightsaber's a little trickier, but Superman, you could definitely write around that. Yeah. And, and they have for so long. It's kryptonite everything. Yeah. Kryptonite did, you ever, cream. <laughs> did you ever read the Superman aliens crossovers? <laughs> I can not see that one, though. No. Oh, there's a great moment where Superman gets a face hugger. And obviously, you know, the, the, the toxins, whatever, it knocks him out. And, you know, he has it in his gut. And it's about to, you know, like burst out of his stomach. But his skin's too tight. And, yeah, it could. And, it would just and, die and, in you there. Can, you can kind of see it poking, you know, trying to get out. His skin stretching. Is and he, then it dies in him. And he, he just, like, barfs it up or poops it yeah. up. I don't remember what was he, he did. in pain? That sounds excruciating. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He, was, <laughs> he would be able to handle happening? that no problem, right? Right? He was more yeah. confused, I think. Yeah. Yeah, he's just like... I had a bad lunch, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Just poops it out later. <laughs> yeah. I get him. It's hilarious that, like, that's one of those arcs that already happened, and I just didn't even know about it. They've, they've just combined everything with everything at this point. Oh, yeah. Batman Predator. That one's really popular. That sounds like a fair match. Yeah, it's, it was really good. Batman had to get his uh, powered armor out. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Like the Dark Knight really Returns good. armor? Kinda, not, you know, kinda, yeah. Oh look, they cheering me on. You did it, you saved. Oh, look at the Wookiee, sheep. don't, oh, don't touch me, dude, you're wet. <laughs> want some, we want you some Ewoks Full of gasoline, here. get away from me, you're flammable. Oh, Where are the Ewoks at? Well, here he is. Academy Award winner. We've lost comrades, friends, family. Who's that blue guy? To the Empire. Thrawn. Dog times. <laughs> That's uh, Grand Admiral Marcus <laughs> in disguise. I'll take that role. Put me in Star Wars. I mean, hey, that's a Grand Admiral's pretty good. That's a that's a pretty good, pretty good uh, designation. Not yet lost. Look how green that Wookiee is. We are not yet lost. They seem really bored with his speech. They're looking at everything but him. For the cause. For the cause. Yes, bestie. Yeah. Yeah, that speech didn't really land. <laughs> yeah, it's not or quite fit a... into the context of what's going on here. <laughs> not quite a today is our Independence Day. Stories are playing yeah. out all over the galaxy. My partisans could use a Jedi on our side. You're what? I'm honored. Why is he touching her like that? First, you have to go talk to my tentacled friend in this small cave. <laughs> <laughs> the office stands. In mind. He's got a nice shaved head. He's got a like, nice little edge up there. Shout out to his barber. Speaking of shout outs, Sebastian in chat says, I tried to finish this game, but it didn't grab you. It got repetitive and boring. Uh, huh. Sorry, I'm not quite fluent. That's a, you know, I think certainly a take. Um, I also, I, I did not finish it either. Oh, um, really? Uh, yeah, I got oh, way past here. Okay. But I did get, I did eventually get bored with it. Well, that makes me excited. Um, I don't think either. it was boring though. There's some other, yeah, as it so often happens with us, like you know, some other thing came out and I started playing that, and then I just never went back. It's the never go back thing that gets me. Persona Five, this game, it wasn't like I was aggressively avoiding it or anything. Yeah. But but something else shiny happened, and I I moved, and then I didn't want to go back because I don't know. Right. It happens to me a lot when I play like really long games. Could take some time. That's all I can ask. Look at her toes. Are they not gonna take those things off their necks? Isn't that like from their bondage? No one's gonna help them out there. Or? You got a saber, man. Just yeah, go just, up and just do it. Just yeah. Slop it off. Okay. Well, he wants to talk. Chow, what's his mm, name? Chowsk. Oh it takes. no, I don't want to talk to you. He has his own way of doing things. Yes, but these are dire times. We need. And then, of course, we have the uh, the opposite view in chat as well, represented, uh, who platinumed it. And you know, there are plenty of rumors swirling about uh, a sequel, which we've been, you know, which uh, have come up every week since we started playing this, pretty much. Which I think 
Hold that thought. Like, people are super excited about it if it exists. Um, yeah. All right. And we could rule out that is not the next cover. <laughs> that We're not, not playing nice this in anticipation of it. <laughs> every death, every dead end creates a fire. So you've got one cover down. <laughs> and we'll take the day. Expecting more variety? It was just the same Dark Souls gameplay. See, that's... I, I don't know. I don't agree with that. Um, wow. To me, it really... It had a lot of different kinds of get different gameplays. I don't think it excelled at any of them, which I feel was its weakness. But it did have a lot of cool different... It was dipping in a lot of different pots, and it dipped in them pretty well. But I don't think it had, like... Everybody likes to, you know, hitch their wagon to the Dark Souls gameplay. But there's a lot of other stuff in play here, too. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I'm trying to, to show us something. I'm trying to blend yeah. this Wookiee in with the wing of this ship. He almost... <laughs> he could almost disappear if he wanted to. He's yellowish-green... That's a interesting. It's a uh, hepatitis Wookie. Yeah, <laughs> hepatitis W. <laughs> oh, his legs too. He's got <laughs> just no legs. Crater, what's up? Hey, right. I think Bartholomew guessed the next cover in chat. It's Wordle. There it is. Boom. <laughs> it's just gonna. Be, you know, honestly, that would be we a really hilarious cover. cover. Yeah, it's gonna come so out cool. in five different covers, and it's they're all gonna be blank. It's just a little piece of blocks. You gotta, put, yeah, you gotta put the five covers together to form the word. Oh man. Okay, and it's square. I? Where am I going? It says I could. Oh. oh. Okay. What you got for me? I, I will definitely agree that BD1 rules. Yeah, he's it's probably like, the they best they thing in this game, right? They don't miss when they make droids. Um, <laughs> yeah, Ben Burt. Ben Burt's the. You know, the. Came up with the sounds and. Um, yeah, that. it was made by Lucasfilm and Respawn and. That droid type has now moved on to comic books, so it's uh, part of the wider lore. It's not just BD-1. He's not a one-off. Yeah, he's one of the coolest creations here. Yeah. And, I, and I knew Cal was going to come up next. I think they were in a really tough spot with Cal, because as, as people already mentioned in chat, he can't be an overpowered Jedi, um, so they have to make him a Padawan. The poncho, I think, was ridiculous. And they made, him, you know, they made him a little bit too green... A little, just, just slightly, you know. No, those are the Wookiees uh, you're talking about. Oh well, those are green too. <laughs> but I didn't hate him as a pro tag, but I wanted somebody who was more Jedi esque. But then at the same time, I realized I can't have that because then you have the opposite end of the complaints that we that we had earlier. You know, the the if you're a Jedi, these two stormtroopers would just you know fly off the cliff, and that's true. Good to see you back in one piece. The poncho, I don't think anybody can defend the poncho. <laughs> don't say that. There's a, I'm sure there's a subreddit of poncho defender. There, there is probably an entire subreddit of, like, poncho. Cal's poncho. And it's just a bunch <laughs> you know, of people posting yeah. ponchos. But you know there's one cool concept art that sold the entire team on it, right? Like, it, it probably is, like, blown in the wind and it looks awesome and it's very western. And then, uh, you know, they just got so deep into development, making all these ponchos. They're just like, ah, oh, gosh, too late to change it. Too late. <laughs> this is the path we chose. Yeah, they're like, well, we're so, we just got, now we have to make like 10 different kinds of ponchos. We have to have the cool poncho and <laughs> the cool you know poncho. I, I sure, they should have just made a, a DLC where he just wears a trash bag. <laughs> <laughs> I want a poncho a that just has, yeah. I want his face just printed on a poncho and he wears it. Uh, there is an all pink poncho you're going to come across that I rocked through most of the game, I and need, it's awesome. I need that so now. Where is it? It's true. I I, I don't believe this, Marcus. Dathomir. You're right. It's on Dathomir. Oh, Everything's in Dathomir. I've been trying oh, to send him oh. there for how long? He doesn't want to go there. Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look it up. I'm going to see where it is. There, there are some poncho defenders in chat, so we do have some poncho lovers. This are is, they this defending good. the concept of a poncho, or are they defending Cal's poncho? Because those are very Cal's different poncho. things. Cal's poncho. Okay. Cal's poncho. Because when Clint Eastwood wears a poncho, it's awesome. Well, that's Clint Eastwood, who's that's, a little cooler than yeah, Cal. His ponchos are cool. <laughs> <laughs> Only slightly, though. But I would say, like, if we don't uh, go to wherever the pink poncho is, we do have to go back to Zepho, which will allow me to challenge that stupid frog again. Oh, yeah, come on. Is the frog... Yes, oh, let's I, oh we'll definitely the, get the W. Let's go beat the frog. So we do have to go back um, there now. I think you've inadvertently stumbled upon the next uh, Jedi it's game. It's on Dathomir. It's on Dathomir. <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> Everything's on Dathomir. I've been trying to send him to Dathomir since the beginning. I've been to Bogdo, Dathomir. Bogdo sinkholes. What? Ready to move? Well, Yo. Let me go kill the frog. 
I think we figured out who's going to be the star of uh, Jedi 2. Hold on. Clint Eastwood is (laughs) Cal (laughs) Justice. Big time jump. Yeah, we do a time jump. Oh, it's not Dathomir. It's um, Bagano. Oh, we haven't been there yet. Oh, wait, yes, we have. Yeah, you were. Yeah, you should go back there. Okay. It's in a, it's in a hole. <laughs> Let's see. In a hole. In a hole. Bago, bago. <laughs> Did I pick it? How do I? Okay, I see oh, where it is. It's like a bowling alley area, or the bowling ball area. Bowling ball area. I'll show you what Uh-oh. I'm talking about. Here we go. All right. I'm excited for this pink poncho. It'll go. It'll look great with the orange saber because pink and orange look awesome together, as we all know. Wait. Oh, I don't know so if that's cool. true. I like both those colors, but not together. Oh, well, you haven't seen Cal rock it. Do I want to? Uh, yeah, Cal would probably rock it. I mean, I could go with that. She with that red hair of his? Oh, man. He didn't have the time. He already looks like a big old creamsicle. All that orange. White he's got. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. BD. Yeah, we are. Holly, that's all we do here is set trends. Uh, thanks for being here today, chat. I hope you're enjoying the show. We've got uh, lots more Cal Kestis coming your way. Only the hottest ponchos. Oh, I get the click. Okay. I always think it's a button. That's a cool cockpit. I like the glass on the floor. And, uh, there, yeah, that shield. ship is really cool, too. It's a nice ship for a scrappy a scrappy ragtag group, right? Yeah. It's got a little bit of a B-wing motion to it. Are we going to kill Ogdo Bogdo finally? Oh, it's happening. Okay, bring up your map. Okay, let me get outside first. Okay, what are we looking for? You're looking for a bowling ball. Like oh. a circular area with like three like little holes on top of it to make it look like a bowling ball. Yeah, and it's out here, right? It's not in that uh, temple. Let me bring up the map. Keep it. Let me just hey, what are we it. looking for? Are we looking for? Is this like where the elite poncho is? is that what we're doing? Elite poncho. We're going poncho? for the pink poncho. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Which is the elite poncho, really? Okay, it's that blue area there, the light blue area. It's go. Yeah, there. It's that area. Oh, these three things here. Is this what no? You're uh, it's it's where you see that yellow spire. It like if you move forward. Yeah, that area over here. Yeah, in that kind of... Oh, but that elevator vicinity. takes you up. So it's up here somewhere? Okay, I remember... Yeah. yeah, we've been over here. Is this where that elevator is? It's like, it's on the surface. You drop into a hole. But there's three holes on that that platform. Or that, you know, that area. Okay, oh god. Okay. Oh my! <laughs> I was like, that was risky. I should, I should. Sebastian says, didn't know Game Informer was active on Twitch. Missed you for a long time. Hey, thanks for being here, Sebastian. Thank you. Wait till you find out we have a Discord. Starbuck86, thank you so much for the sub. Thanks for being here. Rise of the Ponchos. Agreed. 10 out of 10. Yeah. 10 out of 10 Ponchos, anyway. Yeah, the Poncho um, Awakens. Thanks for the sub. By the way, Sierra, I know since you just joined us on Twitch, we are extremely active on Twitch, and we actually have our Twitch tied to a Discord where we hang out. So if you want to come join us in there, it's super easy. Just connect your uh, your Twitch sub to Discord, and uh, oh, yeah. Well, Sebastian, you got to get a sub, but you could do that, or someone can give you one. Either way, um, and then oh. you can get into the Discord. But all the editors are in there. We post cool stuff in there. Oh. Um, it's fun. We do have our own. It's a private Discord for uh, for GI editors and the coolest kids in the room, which is all of you. Yeah. Oh, let me catch these EVs. Right. Check your... <laughs> and there it is. Wait, did they jump to their desk? Holly, Holly hooking up Sebastian with that sweet gift sub. Uh, now you can get into the Discord, Sebastian. Okay. For instructions on how, uh, our awesome Moobot just posted those in chat. So if you just click that link, that'll tell you everything you need to know. If you have any problems, email me at daniel at gameinformer.com and I will get you taken care of. Okay. I need to... Drop down. Is that a dinosaur? What is that in there? Oh, it's one of those guys. Hermits of food. Oh, he, oh, he's standing up on his hind legs. Wow, he's evolving. He's trying to Is intimidate he? me. He's a Pokemon. Oh, speaking of Pokemon, I can't wait to play Arceus or whatever. Yeah, I am so excited. No yeah. spoilers. <laughs> I mean, that's not a spoiler. 
<laughs> I have, what are, I didn't need to know that you were excited about it. What are you looking at? I didn't say I was excited happening. about it. I said, I, said I couldn't game. wait to play it. Pokemon Legends Arce Arceus. Dying Light 2, Stay Human. Horizon Forbidden West. And Ooh. then a little game called Elden Ring. I haven't heard anything about that one. <laughs> Probably... Elden Ring? Oh, are, are we picking one? Is that what we're, I thought that's what we were doing. No, those are just the four games that are coming. <laughs> I mean, but it's like yeah, I want yeah, all of them. I wanted to pick one. Oh, I thought, like, I I thought you were asking. Dan, which game do you want to play? I mean, come on. <laughs> Pokemon, Listen, all the way. There, there are a couple there that I like to play, for sure. What's uh, number fact, two, Dan? Uh, number two on that list, out of sheer curiosity, is Pokemon. Um... Just because I want to know how the, if they actually like you know are actually changing things up and if it's going to be interesting at all. Okay. But so out of a, out of a sense of like, this is probably going to be good, so I should play it. It's going to be Horizon um, on the secondary there. Yeah. Uh, Reiner, this is the spot I believe. It's, the, the general area. Uh, eh. I went up the elevator and. Eh. <laughs> Let me send you the video. <laughs> Uh, it's a short video, so you, you'll be able to see right at the beginning. Yeah, chat, is. bear with us. We're gonna get. We're, we need this pink poncho. We cannot play without a pink poncho. And I know that you know how important fashion is to your games. Like, if I'm playing Dark Souls, I gotta get my outfit right. You know, that's it's it's critical. I don't even care what the stats are on it. Yeah. I hope there's ponchos in Elden Ring. I want a poncho over my knight. I, I think Elden Ring will have great armor variety. So we have people in chat saying it's in the Ogdo pit, but I don't know if they're just trying to get Marcus to actually fight a boss or not. <laughs> there so. is there is a chest or something in there, or there's some. I remember fighting and there was something kind of hidden. Wait, cow, why can't you jump up there? Okay, <laughs> that was weird. But maybe this yeah, is it, it right here. It does look like that Ogdo pit, but there's three of those pits. Okay, so this isn't it then. Whatever this. Chat is. has just informed us that Elden Ring is 34 days away. That's wild. I did get a new lightsaber sleeve. That means you know, originally Pokemon, it was, Pokemon's uh, next is a week away, right? Pokemon is seven days away, yeah, uh, I think. All right. And, uh, yeah, and that's with, with the Elden Ring, without the delay, we would be playing it, like, right now. Okay. Pretty wild to think about. You said a video, right, Reiner? Yeah, go ahead and go ahead and check that video out, Marcus. All right. We'll wait. We got, we, we got chat really to take fast. care of anyway. I like that someone made a whole video for this pink poncho. <laughs> I mean, it's that important. <laughs> All right, bear with me. And yes, we do have a giveaway today, chat. Uh, I don't know when Reiner wants to do it, but if you're chatting and in here, you're eligible. Uh, note good. that we can we can only ship the issue to the United States, so you can only win if you're in the U.S. Okay. Oh, I see what you mean when you say bowling ball now. Starbucks, yeah, it was really close. I don't know if it's the exact date. I didn't, I didn't say it's happening today, Big Boss. Okay, yeah, and to be eligible, you will have had to have chatted within the last 10 minutes. But I, I'll let people know before we hit the button, okay? So you'll have a chance to get in. It does kind of look like the Octo Pit. Uh, I know some of you are wondering which issue it is. It is an unannounced cover. It's a good one. Be our, our next cover. It's a really good one. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, I, I think so too. Uh the lack of fast travel in this game really hurt it. You know, it kind of it has fast travel, really, right? But like, I mean, you can every, go from within the areas. To planet, be, be, yeah, it can be uh, kind of annoying with all the metro being. I, I can see that angle. I don't know if I'm seeing this. Why does our map look slightly different? I don't know if I'm seeing this. Just watch the video, Marcus. No, I am, but I gotta start. Yeah, with, he's. I gotta start with where they want me to be. So you gotta go go to the Ogdo pit. What is his name? Yeah, Ogdo Bogdo. Yeah, because yeah, Chat all he does is Ogdo Bogdo. All he does is jump in uh, the person in the video. They just jump into a hole, and it's basically just there. You're like, gonna—it's yeah. probably where Ogdo died. You're gonna have to take him on, Marcus. That's is it. I mean, this that was gonna happen anyway. So was it though? Nice. If he—if his death gets me a uh, pink poncho too, that's just bonus. You know, it's gonna be rewarding all over. Uh, let's see. If I remember how to get to Ogdo, I should maybe. Get this checkpoint. All right. The meditation stuff was cool. Yeah, there's uh, there's cool elements. Hey, Owlix, how you doing? Okay. Welcome. 
Hey, do you think we'll see Cal in uh, expanded lore, like Disney Plus series? They got a, they picked a real no. actor. That's true. No. It's pretty easy to do because of that. Yeah. I don't think we will, honestly. Why? Why, Dan? I, I don't have anything against Cal. I just think they have more interesting characters to pull from. Like who? Uh, any other Jedi? <laughs> Uh, cover will not be cover is not going to be revealed today, Linko. But that is uh, we we are giving away an unknown cover, a gold edition, collector's edition of an unannounced, a yet unannounced cover. Okay. So you can assume the cover will be available will be pretty soon. But I can't tell you exactly when. Okay. Soon. Soon. TM. <laughs> oh, you're not the maybe February, maybe January, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Okay. Now let's see. Oh, no! Yeah, to kind of circle back. Let's see if I can work my way around. Because he was kind of over here ish. Uh, Did I just come back where I was? Yeah, we'll stay in games. I think they could take him out of games. I think Disney is Disney's pretty keen on bringing their, their, uh, their characters across properties and doing interesting nice. crossovers and combinations with their Star Wars assets. I can see it happening. I just don't think that he. I think. I don't think he's very interesting as a Jedi, but that could change, right? Yeah. I just think, well, when I think of, like, a Jedi getting their own show, this is the last one. Probably the last one. I mean, to be fair, is he that much different than Luke Skywalker in A New oh Hope? Oh, my God. Please. <laughs> Did you just really do like that? Like, him yeah. also being yes. just this naive, kind of oh dorky dude. Not much going on. Like, Luke doesn't get cool until the last movie. Until Return of the Jedi is when he actually gets cool. Let's not... Let's Marcus. not act like he was always awesome. I'm not saying Marcus, he was like you're bad. Hurting me, Marcus, you're hurting me. I'm not saying Luke was bad, but he didn't get cool until episode six. Ah, uh, come on, man. When he took down the Death Star, <laughs> that was that was pretty pretty awesome yeah. moment. I mean, he Honestly, just he just listened to a tutorial from Obi Wan on how to do it. <laughs> oh my god. He had asked right. he had asked Obi Wan, and he's like, "Why don't you try this play?" <laughs> I need a hint. He hit the hint button. <laughs> have you tried Have you tried the Force? <laughs> All right, Br Brazilian, thank you so much for the sub. Enjoy your lunch break. Glad you're here. Glad you're loving the stream. Thanks so much for the sub. All right. And yeah, Marcus. I need a Am I wrong? Are you, are, you gonna o are you really trying to oversell Luke's coolest in A New Hope? You have you have so many wrong opinions. <laughs> this isn't even close to the worst one. I'm so, not you know. saying Luke was bad. I like Luke. He was just a, he's not cool, but doesn't mean Listen, I don't like him. After Fry is not going in Frosties. I oh, shouldn't how be the? What? I had like half my life. All right. Okay, here you go. On. Rank. Let's say the top. Where does Luke sit with the main cast? So Han Solo, Princess Leia, Chewbacca, C three PO, R two D two, Obi Wan. Where does where is he numbered? Is this just overall? Marcus is gonna say at the bottom. No, I mean C three PO is the bottom. Um, Han is number one for sure. But Han's always been my favorite Star Wars character. I mean, Chewbacca's pretty cool. Yeah, he's cool. I don't know if he's like number. <laughs> he's not like number Princess two. Princess Leia, cool. number two. I probably put Leia over Luke, and then Luke right. Wow. Up. This is pure, pure coolness. I'm not saying that like this isn't combat ability or anything like that. But yeah, I say Han, Leia, Luke, Chewie. Or actually, no, no, no. Han, Leia, Luke, R2, Chewie, and then C3PO. I didn't miss anyone, did I? I, you know, I, I might be there. With you, I, I might swap Luke and Leia, but Leia's really great in that too. So it's hard to say. I feel like Leia has but Han always is definitely been, number one. Yeah. yeah, Leia has always been cool and like you know, kind of a badass. Luke had to get there. It was a yeah, uh, a journey of power for him, a coming of age story, as yeah. they say. He had his whiny moments when he you know the hero's Empire, journey. Empire Strikes Back. He. Be a little whiny, those lessons with Yoda. <laughs> but, no, no but we all wanted to be Luke, right? Like No spoilers, Shane. I kind of wanted to be Han. <laughs> I only wanted to be Luke to have a lightsaber. <laughs> Imagine if you gave Han Solo a lightsaber. And how did I... I don't know why they put me here, because it seems like I can't... The only way to get back over is to go down here, and I don't want to do that. An alien so I gotta work my cool. way all the way back up and around. All right. We need some more alien Jedi. I'm done with that. 
I would like that too. Or maybe like, a robot Jedi. I would like more non-human Star Wars protagonists. I would like a movie about Grievous. Thanks. <laughs> the Disney Plus right. show that I pitched a few episodes ago, where it's just an anthology of him killing every Jedi yeah. to get his I lightsaber am, I am collection. I am so down with that. <laughs> It's like Kill Bill, but with <laughs> General Grievous. I, I, would, I would have watched that. That's day one, yo. I want the Star Wars equivalent of the Crazy 88s fight. That would be sweet. IG-88? Oh, there you go. He can be there, too. But, Dan, you didn't say your rankings of the characters. I... I don't know. What, what, who, who do I have to rank? The main cast. The, list. the main cast. What's going on and with your headphones? What's going on, Dan? Oh, no, I'm just... I'm listening <laughs> to some other stuff in the room. Sorry. Oh, um, I was just like, dance? Yeah. No, 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 no. He's in a different I, place right I'm now. I'm just hanging out, you know. Anyway, uh, so are we going by um, old school? Yes, the main like, we're not crew. We're not counting, like, New Han, right? Like No. No, like, no, this new... is New Hope. Okay, if we're going by New Hope, Everyone yeah. Everyone on the Falcon, basically, yeah. Han wins. Mm -hmm. Chewy, R two, Bestie. I I I'm not forgetting Lando, but he wasn't in the list. Okay. Uh, he Chewie, wasn't even in New Hope. He was not in New Hope. Tis true. Uh, okay, so if we're going by New Hope rules. Okay. Okay. Here, let me just give you the list. It seems okay. like you're just <laughs> you're making this Han, <laughs> Han, Chewbacca, R two D two, C three PO, Leia, and Luke. Okay. Han, Chewie, Luke, R2, Leia, C3PO. Leia's so low. That's my list. Okay. I'm glad we all agreed at C3PO. Oh, we all just <laughs> totally spaced on Obi-Wan. Thanks, Sing Master, for bringing that up. Oh, yeah, I guess he is in there for a bit. I guess I'm like number two. I mean, yeah, he's really high. Yeah, he's. I'm going to put him above R2. <laughs> He's yeah. the coolest. When he makes that roar sound. <laughs> He's still not cooler than Han, though. That Han, was... is the, Han is the ultimate no. in, in Wait, the OG. Yeah. Which version they did, of the roar? They did him so dirty in the new movies, man. Guys, we're doing pretty good so far. I think it's we happening. Are. I didn't want to call it. This might be the run. This is the run. Oh, no. No! We're good. <laughs> All right. Taking a break. We're taking. He's gonna jump. Yeah. Oh, that was a good. That was a good. Oh no 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 no. He's gonna come. Okay, here we go. No, to get it. Okay, whoa, whoa, back it up. <laughs> Ooh, oh, that hurt. oh no! I'm stuck in a corner. I get it. <laughs> oh, he's got me a little. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. Okay. Aunt Brew and Uncle Owen, they'd still be cooler than C3PO. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it's obvious, you know, C-3PO is constructed to be anti-cool, so. Yeah, and he's so lovable in that capacity. Yeah. He's good for a chuckle. You know, someone's yeah. got to be the cautious one that keeps everyone else Magno, in line. Magno. God, I did he's it, down. guys. He is Marcus, down. well done. Let's jump on his body if we can. Don't we break the game and you have to do it again. <laughs> Sink into his model. All right, what do we get for all this? Skill point. I guess that's pretty cool. I think you oh no! Uh, class, well, too. almost a life upgrade. Oh, well, that makes me feel bad. He was trying oh. to defend his family, apparently. Yeah, good job, murderer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have the. Oh, you know what, Reiner? Do I need the the scomp yeah, link to get the ponchos? Red. I You're still need the scomp yeah. Link. There's still those boxes I can't get to. So what do you got to do to get that? There's an item I got to get to open certain boxes, and I don't have it yet. It's so probably might... on Dathomir. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is on Dathomir. Like, no joke. That's why I've been trying to get Marcus to go there, but he never listens to me. First he fought me on Souls, and now he's fighting me on this. I like how it's you just, just jettisoned last week's episode out of your mind. Just... You you briefly touched down on Dathomir. Got how do you think I got, got this bad boy? Left. I know, but you left right after. I took the, need... the weapon of the, the, the people there. Dude, Chad is coming up with some great stuff. Zang Master says, have Marcus play Souls 2? I'll tell you this, Zang. I think that a Souls playthrough at Game Informer is is in the cards. I'll have more details for you. Not this week. Is it Dark Souls 2? <laughs> yeah. 
which I've never played. I mean, it would be way cooler to have you on that, Marcus. Yeah, we'll see. You're I think... so good with secrets. I'm not. I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, we're going to be doing more streaming. It's going to be fun, and I think Dark Souls Two can be part of that pretty quick. So we'll see what happens. I think Sweet. I think Souls Two is a really great playthrough to have. Um. Okay. Before Elden Ring, I think it'd be perfect to flow into it. So, uh, yes, as as Bestie points out, DS2 is the only one that we have not super replayed. We and we've super replayed some of them multiple times. So, we do need to get one on the on the on board for Dark Souls 2. It's a really good one. Um, who's gonna play it? Maybe me. I don't know. We'll find out. But it is going to happen. I just don't know who and when. Oh. But stay tuned. See, hey, there you go, Ryder. I told him. I Duke, told him a secret. <laughs> Duke Faison, you got to read this. Wait, what? Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to find my way back to the ship. This... Believe it or uh, not. Actually, I... Duke has the thing you need. Duke has the what I need? The thing you need. The, the, scamp, the, the, the scomp link. The scomp link. Oh, like where to get it? That's right. Okay. So we got to get to uh, the tomb of I I'll Ram. And Zeppo. And Zeppo. Where you got force push, which he has, right? Yeah. yeah well, once you have okay. force push, return to the weathered monument. Well, I have to go back to Zepho for the story, so maybe that's what I'm about to do. So let's just. Oh, Doopy, great question. We're playing. It's definitely going to be Scholar the first sin. For sure. For many years, I didn't even know which one I liked more, but then I finally played Scholar, and Scholar is definitely the best version of that game. Okay. The creepy pots in Dark Souls 2? Yeah, you know, maybe we'll get some more cool pots in Dark in uh, Elden Ring. They do You're love the to pots catch an there. You can't catch one of these, right? I think I remember doing that. Yeah, maybe you force freeze them or something. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah it'll be it. We'll... Oh, this might be oh. it. We're going to do a DS2 full play at some point here, folks. So... Oh my god! Bring it oh up, wait! But it, 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 <laughs> didn't mean to come. Be fun. I think I got him. We'll find you a home. Oh, he's over there. And, and I I'd tap Marcus to do it, but I figured that would take like you know eighty episodes. <laughs> Look at that! I got the little the same kind of Eevee with chicken legs. What do you think you did very nice. Oh, what's this thing? You got an optional puzzle. What is this? Boggling. That's a ball you can push. You can push it, man. Where do I where do I want to push? Oh yeah, here we go. Hey, up this hill. Oh, there's a hole up there. Okay. Here we go. Puzzles. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, no. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, wow. That's like the worst place that could fall. Uh. Okay. There better be something. This good. isn't looking good. There better be something good you, for you this. You got it. I believe in Marcus. Yeah, it's kind of. I wish he's wrapped around. So, Marcus, would you do a Dark Souls 2 playthrough? Yeah, I've never played it. I've always been kind of curious about it because it's people treat it like the, the weird entry. Yeah, some people call it that. Some people call it that. I'm, it's something that's been in my my backlog, even though I don't own the game, or at least I don't think I do. Oh, well, we can take care of that. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Oh, wow, that's... You, oh! You really got to... Yeah, put some mustard on there. Not not ketchup. I better get like you gotta a... be good at monkey ball or marble madness. <laughs> oh, marble madness. Yeah, yeah there's a game. There Mark should be. Cerny. Yeah, there should be a Jedi flashback where Cal learns how to play marble madness with Mark Cerny in Jedi robes or something. Let's see. I don't know how to get this out of there. Now I want to play marble madness. All right, just. I'm glad you can kind of just spam this. There's no like cooldown. Yeah, you can just just throw that ball. This is the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you know, Mark, you know, Ryan. This might be a good time to do the issue giveaway. Let's do it. Oh wait, and uh, we're Marcus ending at 3:40 the by the way. Yeah. 3:40 today. I gotta line this one. So up. because of that, I feel we'll do that. So hey, if you want to be part of this issue giveaway, uh, to participate, if you do win, you have to be located in the United States for us to send it to you. So, um. I would type in chat right about now. If you if you said anything in chat within the next 10 minutes, you're you're eligible. But if you haven't, if you've been quiet, if you're lurking, you've been like, I want to get in that getaway. I'm gonna give you a couple minutes right now to type something in chat so that you can participate. 
Oh boy. All right, I'm about to. Um. Go. Yep, you can say anything. Saying game informer rules is a really good way to do it. It does not get, help your chances of winning, but it is the best thing you can say in chat. You got a couple of minutes to to get your name in chat. We got. Uh, Yeah, look at the the eligible users chat is just rising steadily here. Uh, Holly, thank you so much for the sub for Erlen Moon. Um, you know, honestly, for a Game Informer Gold, your odds are pretty good. There is only a certain amount of chatters here. I think, I mean, I get in on this. <laughs> uh, obviously, me, Reiner, and Marcus are ineligible. So if we win somehow, we're going to oh, roll I'm, again. Oh, I'm keeping it. No, I'm well, keeping I, it. Okay, Reiner's going to keep it if he wins, but... Me and Marcus, I think, are going to let it go back to the pool. I mean, I have a contact, uh, Yeah, we, so. we cannot ship to Europe, Duke, for this con for this uh, giveaway, sadly. So, um, <laughs> it is greatly unfortunate, but that's that's the way that the Padawan crumbles. Uh, so, yeah, this is for a gold edition. Are they printed with real gold? They may as well be. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I mean, it's as high end as a magazine gets. Not uh, toot our own own horn, but I'm gonna because I've never seen a magazine this high quality before. It, it is not an NFT. It is a physical edition with like the highest quality everything. It's a oh, I'll mint it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Where's my press? <laughs> well, Ryan is gonna mint it, but but for this for this giveaway, it's a physical issue. All right, you got 60 more seconds to type in chat if you haven't, and then I am going to pull the name of our lucky winner today. This is not the only contest you can uh, you can get in to get one of these, by the way. Uh, we do have another giveaway going on at GameInformer.com right now where you can win an issue, a gold edition. Uh, if you head to GameInformer.com on the front page, there is another way to enter. Great Rune, if you typed in chat, you're entered. You're already in. You're already in. Again... Only people in the U.S. are eligible. If you give me an address outside of the U.S., we can't. We can only ship within the U.S. Where's our little Evie? You have about 30 more seconds. If, listen, if you type that all in the last 10 minutes, you're eligible. You don't have to type a thousand times. It's cool if you do, but you only get the one entry. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, this is for a gold edition. Uh, that's a great question, Lay. Yeah, yes, we will have to. Um, although I hope that they're not, you know, yes, correct. Uh, we have not, this is for an unannounced cover, GI Gold. And that cover reveal will be soon. Okay, I am going to pull it now. Um, Do it. Here it goes. Gosh, I hope this thing is set up right. There it is. Nightbots Brazilian, you have won the giveaway. Yay! Uh, Brazilian. That was really fast. I know this is an awesome bot tool we have here, Ryder, that just randomly selects anybody under the conditions, which is really awesome. Uh, well, you did win this. Are you in the U.S.? You can't see it, Leaf, because it's not announced yet. Great. Uh, Brazilian, I am going to reach out to you on Twitch right now for your contact info. And you can just send that to me. You don't, no, you don't need to say anything more in chat. You're all good. Congrats on winning, man. California. Uh, yeah, congrats. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. All right. Let's get us a scomp link, hopefully. All right. I have just sent you a message on Twitch, Brazilian, if you want to confirm that you've got that. And uh, just send the information to that email I gave you. And we will get you taken care of. Congratulations. I think you're going to love this. And we are going to be doing more giveaways uh, and stuff like that. So that's how, I, I, as far as I'm, you know, Reiner, everyone is asking me about GI Gold. So maybe you can yeah. shed oh, some light on a, this. Actually, yeah, you missed out here. But there's a sweepstakes on our site right now for the Halo issue uh, that you can enter. So the, the, so the main way to get GI Gold is going to be through giveaways like this, right? Yeah, uh, okay. for now. Yeah, there will be other avenues in the future, um, but what uh, we got figured out legally is <laughs> the sweepstakes, which just got through today, and then um, yeah, just little one-offs here and there. Right. The so charity hey. auctions. Um, you know, we've already done one of those. Uh, yeah, other other things we'll probably do once we're settled in our office. I really stepped um, it up. 
You know I can't keep secrets, so yeah, that's all I know of right now. So. Uh, yeah, so uh, anyway, you did stand a chance, Doopy. You know that there are only 43 eligible participants, and that's counting people who are not in the U.S., and it's also counting me and Marcus who were going to give it back to the pod. So you had about a 1 in 37-ish shot, I think, which is pretty darn good for a shot at GI Gold. Uh, yeah, Bird. Hey, Ryder, you got a GI Gold you can show off? Uh, yeah, give me one minute. We're going to go grab a copy, Bird. Yeah, they're really great. Anyway, yeah, Brazilian, you got uh, the, the new upcoming cover, Gold Edition, which I think people are really going to enjoy. Now, we have not announced this cover. This is hot off the press. Don't tell anyone this is our next cover. I'm just kidding. This is uh, this is the Horizon one, which we'll be uh, doing a sweepstakes on this in a couple weeks on the site. This one, um, you can see the, the the gold. It's the same cover art as the standard edition, but you can see, you know, these things don't bend much. They're very thick. <laughs> uh, awesome paper quality. High res. Individually numbered and labeled. Man, yo, these are... Yeah, these are awesome. Yeah, I, so I, from gold. They all come in bagged and boarded from my home Etsy business. They're amazing. Yeah, they're really cool. And it's it's fun. You know, we gave a couple to the dev teams, you know, when obviously they <laughs> would like them. And the feedback we've gotten is just awesome. We sent one to Phil Spencer at Microsoft, and he was so excited by it that he decided to spend $70 billion. <laughs> it's amazing, you know, how just the gold can change the world. Yeah, that is, that's a mood. You're so happy, I think I'll buy a multi-million dollar company. He's like, let's do it. I just held the greatest magazine of all time. I'm ready, I'm ready to pull that trigger and buy Activision Blizzard. I think that's where they got the money, right? He sold the magazine and got 70 billion out of it? Yeah, he sold the first issue of GI Gold. Um, by the way, Brazilian, congrats again. I've got your uh, I've got your contact information. You'll be getting that in the mail shortly after. You know, we still have to announce this next issue. Uh, but yeah, it'll be on its yeah. way, and uh, I'm sure you'll be very happy with it. Thank you. And by the time again. this stream's done, I will probably announce what that game is by accident. No. Um, <laughs> oh, God, no. But, uh, but uh, funny thing, Ninja Master Dave, Reiner writes all of them by hand. Actually, I do include a handwritten note in each gold that I send out. So you will... Brazilian, is that the name of our winner? Uh, Brazilian, yeah. Brazilian. I've got, I've got the info, uh, Reiner. I'll, I'll shoot it your way so that reiner.etsy can yeah, get it out there you when don't, it comes. I can address it, the handwritten note to Brazilian, or you can include your actual name, and I can personalize oh, it for you. That. We've got okay. uh -oh. that. We got the contact info, so... Yeah. Did you break the game? <laughs> I can't stealth kill this guy from the air. I think I've called him the physics from the steam. What are you doing? Marcus, every <laughs> time we play this game, something happens. I think he was bouncing on the steam physics for a bit there. Can't take, you can't take him anywhere. Take that, rat. All right, there we go. We're at the uh, temple here that we need to be. I'm going to ignore you guys because you don't matter. Wasn't expecting this. We that's I mean, right, great room. We do not have any ETA in the next cover story. We are so, we do. I mean, we do. are actually just I mean, it's still not settled when we're releasing the issue. There's many things in motion. This is our business. Welcome to our business. <laughs> uh things always moving around. We're doing okay, BD. Alright. Oh. Upgrade. Oh, here it is. Right, I think I could replace yours with this. Let's get you fixed up. There we go, the scomp link. You, we got there. Now we can and open then we're going to go get the pink poncho. Finally. Oh, it's like a little twirl. Want to try it out? You want to try it out? Marcus, you want to try it out? I, I think so. When are you guys doing uh, Dead Man? <laughs> don't, don't, don't it. Don't. Ramrod says, when are you guys doing a Game Informer NFT? Right now, if you want to mint my face... 
<laughs> it's 3D. You can mint that. Um, I would like it to be limited to 20 copies. <laughs> Only for use in the metaverse. Oh! Not Twitter icons. Actual oh. metaverse. Wait, what if I take it and I put it on my... Tw I'm going to make it my Twitter hexagonal profile. No, I already said you can't. Well, too bad. I've got it. I, I, I've i got the code for that NFT writer. It's going on there. <laughs> I saw five of those things today. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Were you jealous? Uh, or? <laughs> I don't, no. don't want to show names, but I can show... Yeah, some people I follow have them. Oh, you follow these people. Okay. Well, that's how we see them. Yeah, I, I haven't seen it. Nobody that I follow, I've seen them use it yet. So yeah, I'll probably block you if I see it. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Marcus, I'm gonna mint my own face. And I'm gonna... there's, there's a cat. There's a cat looking at Kratos. How you doing? How much was that? Oh God, it's happening. 18, 18 grand. <laughs> yeah, dance next coin. Uh, the hot new crypto. I'll be I'll be selling my oh. uh, my my face minted for one billion dance next coin. All right, here we go. Get out of it. Nice, nice done, Marcus. I can't wait for this pink poncho. It's gonna be quite a moment. We can make an NFT out of that. Wait, yeah. Can you? Out. Can we legally do that? If, if, I mean, you can uh, make an NFT at anything. Yeah, don't tell anyone. Everyone listening or watching, don't tell anyone that we're doing this. Holly, I loved making that tweet. I thought it was hilarious. Did you just, some, some crypto people got salty with me about that. What did you say? I said, I'm, I, you know, I'm coming up on the next big wave of NFTs, each individually labeled, and you can eat them, and I just you know, put a pile of chocolate coins. You know those Halloween chocolate coins that you can buy? Those bag of chocolate coins? Come on, Marcus. Tell me you've you had, had chocolate you, coins. You got? Yeah, I love chocolate coins. You got crypto bros coming at you for that? Yeah, they were like, that's not an NFT. I'm like, no, really? <laughs> like how they're <laughs> def defending the sanctity of Did NFTs. Did you actually think I was trying to sell you chocolate <laughs> coins? <laughs> like, this makes the rest of us look bad, bro. Like, oh, yeah, whatever. NFTs are serious business. Zang, you're not wrong. Uh. It was, uh, I mean, it was clearly a joke tweet. I don't even remember. It was, it was funny. Marcus, you would have liked it. The, oh, you no, know, I think, I still think it's there. funny. I like it. I, it. It's even funnier that people actually got upset about it. <laughs> I mean, come on. You write I didn't about think games. NFTs people were around. Get, people will get upset about anything. I didn't think we were around, around long enough for us to get sensitive about NFTs in cryptocurrency. Wait, the people we follow are upset about something? I, I know. This is but, oh, bold new huh. territory. Uncharted territory, Reiner. Huh, I'm going to shoot this. I'm going to knock it right back at him. Watch this. It's going to be great. See that? Wait, did I get him? Okay, almost. I'm just happy that everybody has always agreed with my review scores ever. Also, this was a tweet. This was, You see, Wait. you would have loved this, Marcus. So imagine this. It's a picture of chocolate-covered <laughs> coins. Eating up. Several of them unwrapped. I'm going to put this legendary tweet in chat. Oh, you're so um, good, dude. Introducing, here, check out this pitch, Marcus. <laughs> Introducing the world's very first edible NFT. They are priced to collect, individually wrapped, and signature stamped, and each can only ever be consumed once. Once consumed, your personal identity as a connoisseur of fine goods is locked on the Choco chain forever. <laughs> now, how do, how do you take that tweet seriously? Because I believe no, it. Because nothing makes sense in this world anymore. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. I don't know what's real anymore, that's why. But I would like, the, I like the term Chaco Chain. That sounds they like they are Ninja Master. That's why it was a joke. You can't. It, I I'm sure like, somebody minted a chocolate coin. Why not? <laughs> I want to eat a Chaco Chain, please. The Chaco Chain. It. I mean, it sounds pretty good. I'd wear it. How much? How much would you charge for? Well, coin number one. I mean, in the cryptoverse, Renner, nothing makes any sense. So let's just say ten thousand ether, which is like you know. A couple million? I don't know. I don't know. Hundred million? Somebody will buy it, and then they'll sell it to somebody else for hundred and one million. <laughs> Think about being like the super rich guy that just buys the first chocolate, the actually chocolate NFT in this. That's it. But it's just a chocolate covered coin. You know, I'm gonna get one. 
I'm going to put it on my new Samsung TV that does that NFT stuff. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Does, does and it that will be my uh... Twitter icon. Okay, that's what I was going to say. I, you know what? There's going to be some serious side eye if I see anybody at GI with one of those NFTs. <laughs> Are you just waiting for it at this point? Like, who's you know, scouting all the I know it's going to happen. You know it's, you know it's going to happen, Marcus. Right. Just don't, don't let it be you. Oh, no. Don't let it be you, Marcus. I barely understand the stuff, <laughs> and everything I do understand, I hate. <laughs> so, I always knew hexagons were the shape of evil. No, you're right, Leif. That's that's because Choco Chain and chocolate covered coin NFTs are not real, at least not yet. Look at that. Anyway, thanks for being here, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that giveaway. We're going to be doing more of those as GI Gold continues to come in. And, uh, yeah, congrats, by the way, if I didn't say it already. I think you'll be super excited about the next, about seeing the next cover. Uh, should be a good this game, one. This game's beautiful, by the way. That launch was really cool looking. Yeah. All right. Pratt, you're never late. You arrived exactly oh. when you meant to do. Welcome. <laughs> Immediately getting shot. Oh, evil R2. Hold on, I'll deal with it. Get him. What's he doing? Is he coming at me? Take that. He, like bumped up against me trying to stop me. Wow! Marcus! That was an evil R2 unit, Dan. He's, he was just looking at you. He was painted black. You know that he's a bad guy. Because <laughs> he was just looking at you. He bumped into me trying to stop me. I, I don't know. I, I consider that. I think what you did was pretty rude. <laughs> he, he was wearing the wrong paint. You know, that's probably one of the things in the Star Wars universe on their Twitter, what they get upset about is, is it okay to harm droids and stuff like that? I mean, oh, I can only I can only imagine the, the discourse <laughs> Are droids surrounding energy that. Efficient? Yeah, droid are they energy efficient? Are they destroying the environment? There's got to be some information yeah. on their excavation inside, right? Always Hi, pretentious right one. Side. How are you doing? Thanks, Welcome. Buddy. Yeah. Those frogs that Java eats, they oh, loves produce so much gas. <laughs> they're destroying they, the environment. They're destroying the environment. Oh, you're good luck with that, buddy. Oh, <laughs> uh oh, that Spartan kicked. We got a big one here. Is he gonna follow me? Hey, an oh, hello. No, you guys go fight that guy. Don't worry about me. Oh, he's coming, man. Yeah, go. <laughs> you guys oh Lord, go, he's coming. You guys should go deal with him. You think you oh. can fit in here? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, look at this! His it's like just might not allow him to. Oh, look at that! It really is just like Dark Souls. <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? <laughs> I think we just wait this out. Let's see who wins. Oh, let, the, let no, them don't fight, look at, don't that JPG. At, yeah, let them fight. Wait, is it dead? Did they actually kill it? Wow, they actually beat that. Uh, did oh, they just wow. blow themselves up? <laughs> <laughs> they are stormtroopers, after all. Oh, they. <laughs> The highest quality stormtroopers. <laughs> yeah, clip it. I want to see it. Uh, yeah, somebody, I hope somebody uh, clipped that. They did it. <clears throat> they were so. They were Zang so... Master, that is Boba Fett riding uh, Rancor, according to Dan Tack. Wait, what did I do? Oh, just we have a call up for Boba Fett, and I said it's Boba Fett. Yeah, I think Boba oh, Fett is on. a Turkish legend. Thank you, Holly. Oh, geez. Though. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have more fun with clips and a lot of other streaming stuff. Real soon, and I'll and I'll be talking about that real soon. But for now, yeah, Dan and I are a good time. patching a scheme. Which we are biting, biting my tongue, Dan. I want to share, but let's, no. Uh, let's one more week, Reiner. One more week. Okay, we'll be we'll be ready to talk about it. One more week, or if someone asks again, twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> let's move, BD. Okay, <clears throat> Scott Blink. What do you think? Slice it up. Oh, we got about 36 minutes left here. We do, yeah. We're only going to 340 today. Oh, we need to get that poncho. We gotta, gotta finish this little place, I guess. And I found a shortcut. Isn't it funny actually... how characters like Boba Fett and uh, you know IG88, like the real, the real characters that had no depth at all, and they were just like two sentences on the script. Those are the ones that are like really cool that they're building around. I mean, they always did in the in the EU, but 
since all that got scrapped, they're kind of dipping back in to see what they can pull out of that. I mean, they could just do a whole bounty hunter show, right? Like, yeah. Even outside of Fett, right? Forget Fett. You get uh, all the old school crew like Dengar and Zuckus and and all those cool Wait, cats. Zuckus? Yeah. Yeah. Who's Zuckus? There's a scene in, in what? It's an empire where they have like. Is he one of the dudes lined up in that yeah. room? Which one yeah. is he? The bug. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The bug guy. Yeah. Forlom, Zuckus, yep. Dengar, IG, Boba Dengar Fett, IG88. Dengar. And then there's a whole bunch, like, if you want to go, and Bosk, Bosk was there as well. You have the lizard guy. And then, like, you know, and if you want to go old school extended universe, there's, like, ten more in the cantina in Moss Eisley that, yeah. you know, have their own backstories as well. Yeah. Hammerhead. The, uh, <laughs> the cantina musicians should have their own Disney Plus show. You know, I don't know about that. <laughs> we we got to get them all, Dan. Every character. <laughs> you no know, spoilers, I, I, but, you know, they're going into that territory. Wow. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Rebo too. He's he was yeah. he was always really cute and adorable. I always remember like that thing looks weird and cool. Yeah. Can I can I spoil it? Uh, we try to stay. Can away I from spoil the the, the jizz reveal? <laughs> the what now? Well, now that you did that, you have to because otherwise, without context, that's what jazz that's is called what in Star they Wars. Call jazz in Star I, Wars. That's what. For some context, folks, that's what they call jazz in Star Wars. I don't know why, but it's true. I don't they think do I call do that. Canon. It's canon. Uh, Max Rebo is in Boba Fett. Okay. Okay, that's not a huge spoiler. We can live with that. No. No. And it's awesome. Stepping up security. Jizz, huh? I mean, Max Rebo's always been cool. Yeah. Of, of all the things that George Lucas has gone back and okay. altered or had changed with Star Wars, that's not the one he thought maybe I no, should revisit. No, he, he left it. And no one you know stopped what? him. I think in the extended lore, I remember I read there was a short story about the band. Like, there yeah. was an actual story about the band. I remember I was reading one of my... Tales I think it was in a, a ta Yeah, I think it was in one of the one of the books. It was like Tales from Tatooine or something, or something like that, right? And it had like a bunch of bounty hunter stories, and then it had one about the band. I was just like, what? Ooh, <laughs> what about this? And it was like Max Rebo had like a bunch of gambling debt, and he had to like go to the, <laughs> run the tables on Tatooine or something. It was, it was hilarious. Yeah. Dan, what if you do a documentary about the band, how they got together, and it's multiple hours long, divided into three episodes, and it's literally just an intimate look as you see the band practicing and maybe arguing with each other every now and then, and then there's going to be a really pivotal scene where uh, maybe the weird elephant-looking guy is strumming away on his <laughs> instrument, and you just hear the faint melody of... Dun, 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 dun. And then the bandmates kind of like, yeah, what? what you're that's you're not onto something, the right band. man. Marcus, Is that I don't not know the same what band? you're doing. I don't no. know what you're doing right now, but <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's the same band, isn't it? The Cantina band. No, no, you're mixing up Java's band. Oh, yeah, Max Rebo, and and yes, Levelhead oh. brings a good point. Wasn't Life. Max Rebo on Java's What's barge? Name? Slice noodles. I didn't Slice, think I was supposed to go down that, there. That is the name. A, a very Lucas name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you say that name again? I don't know if I'm supposed to jump down Slice here. Noodles? But, oh, this is it's, water. It's, okay. either right? sli it's either Slice noodles or Slice noodles. I remember the noodle <laughs> part. Which one's less stupid? Uh, they're they're both amazing. Uh, okay, here's my so, Disney Plus Star Wars pitch. I like yours. Okay. You just got to get the right characters, Marcus. So. Mine is about the interior designers for the Empire. Oh, gosh. Wait, didn't Clerks already do this? No, I'm not busy. Never busy. <laughs> Dustar contractors? <laughs> the contract. No, these are just the interior designers that make everything look exactly the same. So, wait, so wait. It's like one of those, like, home makeover shows for the Death Star? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, okay, every bridge like doesn't have a railing. Everything's really dangerous. It's all gray and oh. red and black. All right. I like this. Go. I'd watch that. Gotta... You know, sometimes, like you know, right, I never seek them out. How but if you're that? just flipping through the, if you're flipping through channels and there's one of those like home makeover shows going on, I admit I have stopped and watched them. Oh there's yeah, There's something me about too. it. There's something about them that just hooks you. It's just like, oh yeah, we got rid of this uh, this old thing. We found a, uh, we've only got a hundred bucks to work with, but we found this old great thing at a thrift shop. We put it in here and it looks beautiful. And it's just like, huh. Ah. That's pretty cool. I don't know why I'm watching this, but I'm but I'm watching this. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like seeing the couples argue about whether or not they want three bedrooms or two bedrooms, and 
Oh, that must be a that must be a great argument to have. I don't like, they're always they're always very like, epic. I'm always worried they're gonna get divorced by the end of the show or something. <laughs> but the, they're like, uh, the, do you... no, you say right? The best. I was gonna say the best reality show I've seen is Lego Masters. I didn't one, even know that one existed, man. One, the Lego creations are incredible. Two, someone had the idea to get Will Arnett to be the host of this. Okay. And you could tell he is so uncomfortable and doing everything he can to keep stuff PG because <laughs> kids are watching the show. But it's Will Arnett. <laughs> right. Uh, but I, he's just walking this line and you could just see the wheels in his head turning. You could see like the five jokes before he talks that he wanted to say and then ends up having to say <laughs> something else. <laughs> Got to really reel himself in. That's but, pretty good. I it's amazing these creations, the, the, how talented the people are, and just the scale of these like Lego projects that they make. I am I I gotta check this show out. What is it? What streaming service is it on? Uh, well, it's Fox. So what would that be on? So that'd be like what? Disney, wouldn't it? Be? Oh yeah, I mean, Disney. Yeah. Oh, there's I think there's two seasons or Hulu, Disney or Hulu, right? Yeah, I got both those. Yeah, so it's probably Hulu. we're good to go. Okay. Chat, chat I'm might check know. It out. But it's it's worth yeah, it. Chat Just, says Hulu. Yeah, watch the watch the first episode. I'm going to. Oh, they ran into each other. That's pretty cool. Look at the, the epic battles. Got my experience back and wanted to get this box. We can slice this thing. You know, Marcus, the problem is we still don't have a pink poncho. Well, I got Where's my? I was promised a pink poncho on today's stream. I got a swoop for. <laughs> For BD1, whatever that means. Oh, that's a pretty decent color. I don't know if it's better than the black not and pink. yellow. Yeah, it's not pink. We need we need a pink outfit here, okay? We we're too far away to go get it now. We're at the uh, this ship that we got to explore, I guess. What did you say? The ship. I, I have no idea. You know, I said jazz. We're, gonna, we're gonna get on Jabba Sail Barge. We're gonna hang out with Max Rebo. It's gonna be a great, great weekend. All right, here we go. Oh, BD One has a pink paint scheme. We gotta, yeah, we gotta go full pink. Yeah, whoever yeah. in that video you sent me, Reiner, they had the pink BD One. I mean, why would you not? It was like pink and black. He was like rocking the Bret Hart colors. I mean, Zhang, they did make him kind of a. He was kind of, if I recall correctly, and I may not, because I read these books in high school, but they kind of made him into a degenerate gambler type, which is like everybody on Tatooine in that yeah. era. Yeah. You're, you're um, talking about Tales from Jabba's Palace, right? Yeah, that's got to be the one, yeah. Where there's that's the Rancor the story, too? Yep, the Rancor, the Rancor owner. Yeah, how? Oh. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. That was a great book. Um, I was all about the U back then. It's, it's a shame. I guess now they're picking and choosing stuff to bring back in, though, so that's cool. Yeah. I'm saying, if you like all things Jabba's Palace, you got to watch Book of Boba Fett. I'm, I got, I'm have got one episode down, Reiner. I'm on two. Yeah. I'll just I, keep uh, going. I love I'm it. Going I love to. it so much. I'm trying to find the time for this stuff. Uh, Everybody like Mandalorian? I would say it's pretty split on Mando. Or on Book of Boba yeah. Fett. Yeah. Uh, see, I haven't, I haven't seen episode two yet, but man... Twitter after every episode blows up saying it's either the best thing or the worst thing, which is yeah. And after only seeing the first episode, I don't see where it's coming from. I'm just like, okay, yeah. I don't but know. I guess I don't we'll think see what happens. That's been bad necessarily. It was killed by a lightsaber. It's like some are slower than others, but still enjoyable. A job of the Hut show directed by Scorsese. <laughs> that would be great, Sebastian. Let's do it. <laughs> That'll be after he does his superhero film. Yeah. Yeah, he's into that stuff. The he superheroes, is. right? <laughs> oh, he really loves those films. He, he, wants, really loves <laughs> he wants his own Spider-Man reboot. He's big into the MCU. He can't, he can't wait to work with that IP. Yeah. What do you guys think about the the Batman, that runtime? Oh. <laughs> Three whole hours. hours. Five minutes. The rumored runtime is obscene, right? Three hours? Yeah. yeah. We're in some Batman I mean, versus Superman territory. I mean, I'm down for that as long as it's good. The problem is... With those long movies, unless it's paced correctly, it can feel like three hours. When you have right. a three-hour movie and the pacing is good, you don't even notice because earlier. it flows together. But sometimes, man, when movies have like the really, if the, if it has moments where it just drags, you feel that three hours really hard. 
Yeah. I feel. Uh, do you think a movie? It's a, it's a Batman movie. Batman anything good? Like yeah, this is like Lord of the Rings here. It's a Batman yeah. movie. So well, it's how did you do with Lord of the Rings? By the way, because a lot of Lord of the Rings where they got stretched out scenes is them walking, wandering, yeah, establishing the scale of the world, which is very important. But at midnight showings, can kind of weigh on you, right? But like, what with, were your yeah, thoughts when Lord you first of the saw Rings, Endgame, none of the, those didn't bother me. I'm trying to think of the last long movie that really felt too long. I remember Peter Jackson's King Kong felt too long, and I saw that pretty late when it came out, like around like an 11 showing, and was checked out about like halfway through it. But it's also a very slow movie. Like it takes an hour before they even get to that island. The thing is, I can't think of like one of the movies that was too long that I didn't like because it's, it's been blocked out of my memory, right? I can remember the long ones yeah, I like. Yeah. yeah, like Endgame well, is long, but it... Endgame and Infinity yeah, War really fine. long, but they fly by. Endgame's got a lot to do, right? Yeah. So those three hours are justified. I remember um, uh, Fellowship of the Ring when I first saw it. I was kind of bored by it, and it wasn't until I saw it, like, subsequent showings that I appreciated the movie more, but I remember not knowing anything about Lord of the Rings, going with friends, and being like, eh, this is okay, it's kind of boring. But, like, if, if one hour of that is spent with, like, you know... Batman and Selena Kyle talking like that's that's not gonna be that's it's, not gonna work for the movie. It's gonna be an hour of his origin story, isn't it? It's gonna his parents die, he travels and trains, and then hour two is when he gets back to Gotham. I mean that's that's a five hour that's a five minute montage. I think that's all we can commit to. I that. mean it could be, but it's not going to be that. <laughs> I mean funny story about uh, the first showing of Lord of the Rings, by the way. Okay. Uh, so Andy Mac and I went and saw that together. Midnight showing in a theater here in Minnesota. We get seated and uh, oh. we're about 20 minutes into the movie and the audio is really low. Oh. And and Andy's like looking around, like freaking out because he's such an audiophile. And, and you know, it's like, it's not uncomfortably low, but it's not the level that it would do this movie justice, right? Like it's hurting the experience. Yeah. So Andy gets upset and he gets up and he goes out to find someone to fix the audio, right? Like, Andy ends up being that person. Yeah. Everybody else is just sitting there. Andy gets up. He's gone for, like, 15 minutes. <laughs> and he comes back, and, and he's just distraught. Like, he's just like, I'm out of here. And I was like, what happened? He's like, I couldn't find, like, there's, everybody that works in the theater has gone. <laughs> <laughs> they just like, left. It, it's just this audience. So he <laughs> grabbed his coat. And he took off, and I don't, I don't blame him. But oh, you I just was left. Just like, did you go with him, or did you stay? No, no, I stayed. Yeah, um, but and and watched the rest of the movie. Liked it, but you know, probably should have done what he did because you know it was better. Hey, how with, low was it? You, you, were you like straining to hear it? Like this is a weird thing. Yeah, there was nobody was to talk pretty, to. Yeah, it was pretty low. You know, and when you get that okay. low, the big beats, you know, of the score sure. aren't really resonating and. Uh, yeah, you know, the, the school just don't hard have hard. that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I stuck, ar stuck around. And, and by the end, you know, it's 3 a.m. <laughs> when you're getting out of there, you're like, oh, I'm so yeah. tired. Um, and it was more of a workout because you're trying to listen in. But, um, yeah, good on him for for taking off <laughs> taking and, and trying to help the, the audience. Yeah. I like that he's that guy because there's been a couple times where something that, like that has happened in the movie where, like, I'm going to have to go get someone. And nobody, like, I feel like everyone hates to be that person where, like, we all realize none of us can hear this, but who's going to be the one that gets up? And you're, like, yeah. waiting, like, well, it's somebody's you know, going to do it before just, me, right? Justified there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, no one's getting up. Am I going to have to be the person that gets up? <laughs> yeah, and when the audio is that low, when anybody makes sound in the theater, you know, opening a bag of oh, candy yeah. or something. <laughs> pop, pop, oh, corn munching. Yeah. I had that. very audible, right? Like, Yeah. How do I? Oh, actually, I think, I guess like, I can just go back up now. Oh, okay. Gotcha. The dude, the dude to your right with like three trays of nachos and a double bucket, it's gonna be a loud experience, right? Like, did you guys see a quiet place in theaters? Because that was that to the max. You're never, you're gonna hate me for where I watched a quiet place. Did you watch an airplane? A plane, yeah. I did. <laughs> I did. Did you tell everyone to shush around you? <laughs> no, it was very quiet on the plane. Just. Yeah, I, I don't know, think any horror movie is really good for know, the plane. Some of those you know? screens, some of those screens on the back of those chairs are, are pretty big. You know, looking pretty good now. But yeah, I watched. They're um, nice screens. It's just like you know, that's where you watch. That's where you watch stuff you normally wouldn't watch. That's that's. I've always maintained this, and I know you know. Replay historically has had a lot of fun at my expense due to some of the films I've watched on planes. Yeah. Uh, but 
playing movies. It's like you watch the stuff you wouldn't watch before. But I did, you know, I got to, last time I was on a plane. I think I got to see a couple things that I would wanted to see, which was nice. Nice change. Um, I will. Uh -oh. we're not gonna get the pink poncho today. I can't believe that, Marcus. <laughs> I got I got roped into this whole thing trying to get the scum. Well, yeah, we thought you got scumping. I, I mean, we're making progress. But I would have to run all we got, the way we back got to the ship. We got 20 minutes. We can still do it. Right? Oh, no. oh, my goodness. I, I would have to run oh. manually run back to the ship because there's no fast travel. <laughs> all right, right. Forget about it. <laughs> and what a cool environment, though. I love this. Oh, da, 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 da. All right. Oh, there he goes. All right. Ooh. Hmm. I was going to mention that I saw a tenant on an airplane. And I could feel Christopher Nolan cringing. Because it was like, you know what I try to do now? The new rule is if there's a documentary I want to see, that's first. That's the first thing you watch on a plane. Because you can actually, like, you know, pay attention to it. And it doesn't really lose anything from being on a plane since it's a documentary. Can I not? Like, you don't need IMAX for, for a documentary most of the time. What? What just shot me? There's a probe droid up there, I think. Is or no, no, no. Oh, there's there a he is. Okay, he's camouflaged real well. I was like, I just saw all those things. <laughs> all right. Look out! Oh! <laughs> I didn't know he came at you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, okay. They're like, I'm going down. I'm taking you down. Let's see. Open that up, buddy. Should be a shortcut. We don't need to go back. Oh, I thought you could just do it without me being there. I didn't know I had to super <laughs> supervise you. Look at that flawless escape. Where are you going? Oh boy. This oh, that was a just a shortcut. One. I'd already been down there. And, oh, okay. hello. I, I, I got a couple of really hot questions from chat here. We're going to do them one at a time. Finally. Well, I guess one of them is not really. When will Star Trek get a chance to have a great game? Um, probably when they do like a reboot of it in the in the modern, in, in like other media, I would say. Then they could do like a tie in. What, what do you think, Reiner? What was that? I'm sorry, I'm reading uh, Mini. Yeah. Minis is next. I okay. want to give Sebastian's first, what was that then we'll one? do Minis. Okay. When will Star Trek get a chance at having a great game? Well, we have that adventure game coming soon. Well, so a story-driven Star uh, Trek oh. game. Yeah. We'll see. I'm, I'm, you know, I like science fiction. That's hardcore sci-fi. They could do some really neat stuff there. Okay. As far Fair. as an acting game, use some power. I, I don't see it happening anytime soon. What do you think, Marcus? I don't know. I'm not a Star Trek fan. People probably hate me for this, but I've only liked the uh, those recent movies that J.J. Abrams did. Um, okay, yep. That, thanks, yeah. Marcus. Uh, moving right along. <laughs> so I'm indifferent uh, to it. <laughs> <laughs> moving right along. Sorry, sorry. What about sorry, you, Dan? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a big Star Wars. I'm not a, I'm not a huge Star Trek guy, but come on. Uh, the J.J. Abrams movies, get out of here. As, I mean, as someone that has no affinity for Star Trek, like, I respect it, but I... Like, I've, I've seen some Deep Space cool. Nine and, and Next Generation. I've seen random like, episodes, but as a kid, it just I bored me. I wasn't old enough to appreciate it. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Mini F's question was a little bit more interesting, I think. Uh... Are you in the group that wants more Star, more Star Wars, but not Jedi? Or are you good to go on anything? Anything. I think, anything. Yeah, yeah. Ryder's down for anything. I think they should be, you know, we've been blasted since Disney got it with Star Wars everything. I do want more Star Wars, but maybe like, you know, curate it a little bit. We don't need nine different Star Wars shows. Just make three good Star Wars shows. All right, that's, that's, that's all I'm saying. Um, and I would also like to focus on, like I said, they have all of the EU to tap into, and they have a lot of incredible characters and stories from those days that... You know, they wiped clean that they could go back and revisit. Uh, I think I think Thrawn, the Thrawn saga would be an incredible film trilogy, honestly. That that would that seems like a slam dunk to me, but, you know, yeah. So that's non-Jedi stuff, you know? Like, yeah. sure, there's Jedi there, but, like, those they're not the major players in that story. A Thrawn video game? Yeah, he's one of the coolest enemies, yeah. you know, bad guys in any Star Wars story. They were really Very, creative with him. Yeah, unique and the um, way he strategizes. Yeah, I loved him. Like normally you get a Star Wars film it's like, yeah, I'm a badass Jedi or I'm just a generically evil <laughs> uh, Empire man, you know? Yeah. And then with Thrawn you have like this extremely calculating and analytical guy who beats you before you start playing, you know? It's uh, it's very cool. It was a very, very cool twist. And everybody in that story, you know, oh. they had its own like... 
It had like you know Mary Jane and and you know there were lots of other cool characters in that whole saga. Wait, Mary so. Jane? What? Not Mary Jane. That's that's that's, that's <laughs> Mara <Spider> Jane. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thrawn is uh, MJ. Yeah. Thrawn basically resurrects the Empire Philly with a lot of really cool tools, and there's lots of really cool force. When he figures out how he can like block the force, and there's other really Here cool things like involved. Oh, yes. All right. There was a big trilogy of books with Thrawn. He's extremely well fleshed out, and so are all the other characters in the in that series. I love her voice work. I'm not sure who did the voice acting for her, but just fantastic. Yeah, she's, a, she's the coolest character in this game, for sure. I should have put a prediction up before this fight, but... How many? Oh, what? I'm going to go three. Well, actually, he might, he might win it. Nah. And Marcus Marcus is really good when he's when he's down when he's under the gun. <laughs> I want to say these bosses up. have like second form. Yeah. You know, like they change their strategies. I will destroy you. <laughs> yes, I think oh, she's going to this time. She's posing. Heal. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> you guess? I mean, she doesn't hit that hard. I was trying to. Ration, but we need to hire somebody to stand behind Marcus and just say heal. <laughs> it is you, whatever he plays this game. We need just... someone to sit on his shoulder, like on his back, like BD1 here. Oh no! Oh, I accidentally just tap him when he needs to heal. I accidentally, <laughs> I used the stim accidentally. Oh man, I just wasted one. I was trying to switch back to a single blade, just try it out against her. Yeah, single blade's good too. Like yeah, the, but I accidentally healed doing so. <laughs> the duel is actually more of a specialty weapon in this game. Instead of just being like, you know, it's double, so it's better. Yeah. All right. Well, I have no life now. Oh, I swear, I figured it out. You only have like three Estus Flasks, do you? That's You need to get some more of those. Yeah, I have plenty. Well, we have the Scomp now, so we can open more boxes, so... Many thanks, thanks for the great question. We appreciate you. Thanks for being here, and thanks for the great, great chat today. As always, we've only got about ten minutes left today, but we love hanging out with you guys every Friday, having a blast, talking shop, answering questions, announcing all kinds of things, and uh, and hanging out. And and watching Marcus try to beat Jedi. That's that's the highlight for my my weekend actually. Oh, wow, I'm surprised it didn't hit me. Oh! Uh. Oh! Yeah. Ah. Oh, I have no force! Uh oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm out of force. You know, pretty, pretty good for his first attempt. If Not I didn't bad. waste Not my bad. my heal. You would have done better. Yeah. Do we have time for another attempt or? Oh yeah, we do. We got ten yeah, minutes. Yeah, we do. Okay. Yeah. Those only, only take you like five, even when you're spending your whole time blocking. Show some more cool stuff. I wonder where they're starting me. I don't remember. I haven't revealed the new issue yet, right? <laughs> We're not <laughs> revealing the new issue today, Ryder. <laughs> uh, this. Is my Spider-Man cover story. That's Alex Ross's art, but we this is signed front and back by the entire dev team. That's awesome. Isn't that cool? That'll be in our new office. Someone asked how the office is coming along. It's going great. Um, we have walls up, paint color nice. as of next Wednesday, and then carpet and final touches in the following week. I'm a big fan of walls. This is uh, my Overwatch 2 cover by signed by the entire dev team, front and back as well. Oh, boy. Do, 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 do. Wait. When do you think we're getting that game? Uh, uh, after this? I don't Maybe even never. <laughs> so, yeah, um, this is interesting. Here's, here's an interesting <laughs> talker on, on Overwatch 2 is the whole point was like, we're going to have people buy oh another right. game for $60, but now when it's on Game Pass. Okay. Yep, ostensibly on Game Pass. And, you know, obviously, 
before this happened, for several years, it's just immense turnover on that team, as well as many Blizzard teams. Um, who knows where that game is right now? I, I can't even imagine. Uh, Grayson, for Breath of the Wild, honestly, I think I had the most fun playing that game. Just going anywhere and doing anything. I think that's kind of its charm. At least it was for me. Like, I got caught up very early on just trying to learn perfect timing on shield blocks on the ancient, uh, the ancient robots to beat them. And I also spent, like, an hour killing my first Lynel because I just wanted, I wouldn't leave before I beat it. But everybody's gonna play it differently, and I think that's kind of the beauty of Breath of the Wild. Oh. Okay. Can't catch me. And uh, I don't think we'll have an episode I'm next waiting. Friday. Uh, I think we're probably gonna be playing as much Pokemon as we can uh, on stream. So I think we'll have a live stream at this time, but probably playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. When does that come Arceus? out next? Yeah, that comes out next Friday, doesn't it? Yeah, we yeah. probably want. To. When we, yeah, we definitely want to stream that the second we can. I'm all about that. So that's just my guess. So we might have a little bit of a delay. We might be continuing uh, this second sister fight in a couple weeks. We'll oh, see what boy. happens. We'll see what happens. There's going to be... No matter what happens, we're going to be here and having fun. Yeah. So. I like the idea of having this lady waiting for me in two weeks. <laughs> all right. Let's see. All right, These are the fights that really reminded me of the Dark Souls series. Yeah, and that that they I they really crank understand. it up. Yeah, yeah. This is like a Sekiro fight almost. Yeah. For the Souls games, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, oh, that she got me. All right, she's I mean, almost that's halfway. Yeah. That doesn't mean I'm not curious. Okay. <laughs> heal! I can't get I out of there! <laughs> I know, I told you, Ryder, we we really need to get somebody to say, heal, heal, all the time, Marcus. I don't, I don't have force. That's going to be the thing. With, oh, oh uh, we're we doing make... something. Marcus is eventually going to play Dark Souls 2, and I'm just going to start screaming oh, heal at him. Is that the fight? I think that is, actually. Oh, BD with the save. I, I can't believe we got that. Wow. Nice job. Was that not quite attempt two? Yeah. Print, yeah. But not bad. Keeping count. Okay. I knew we had it all right along. Here. Listen. Sarah was never good at keeping secrets. And you know her so well, huh? Mm. <laughs> she was weak. Cracked in an imperial torture chair. Surrendered the location of her naive Padawan. They would never have found me. If it wasn't for her, she betrayed me. Matrilla. In the flesh. I won't let you manipulate me. So sure are you? When faced with a choice to protect herself or her Padawan, she chose self-interest. She'll sell you out, too. Well, I can handle myself. <laughs> Can you afford to take that chance? Your new master harbors great darkness. The look on her face when she saw what they had done to me, as I am now. She turned, exposing her true nature. She used the dark side. She cut herself off from the Force. Oh? How long before she cracks and betrays you too? Is that who you want beside you when you find the Holocron? What would Jaro Tapal say? You have no right to mention his name. I wonder. What would he think if he could see his Padawan now? Skulking in the shadows with a betrayer. Granting her access to a legion of impressionable students. No. I won't let anyone touch them. I thought the same thing once. <laughs> That's how I'd always use the force. Just cool things like picking up a hat. I mean, you know, yeah, you'd, you'd, get, you'd get so used to doing it for everything. It, it would be Open the fridge, really, really convenient. Drink. Throw it away. Yeah. 
Was that cooler than the reveal of Kylo Ren? When she took her helmet off? Mm, no, Ren's is pretty great. Because that's when Ray's being tortured, right? Yeah. But yeah. And got us closer to the tomb. I mean, like, when you saw Kylo Ren's face for the first time, you weren't just like, oh, uh, I don't know. Thought he looked tougher. I don't know. Adam Driver's pretty great. Oh, no, he's great. I love him. I just remember being in the theater for that moment and hearing the mixed reaction of, like, like people are like, whoa, <laughs> and then some people are like, that's it? <laughs> <laughs> we thought he'd See have, like, a scar. <laughs> yeah, it does have... A lot of people who don't like Dark Souls 2 don't understand that it does have eye roll. There are you you basically have a stat in Dark Souls 2. It's the only Souls game that has it. There is a stat tied to your invincibility frames and your roll uh, called adaptability. Well, it's linked to adaptability. It's called agility, and it's a stat that basically determines how good your roll is and how fast you drink Estus. So if you tweak that stat, you could get the old Dark Souls roll or even more powerful roll. Speaking anyway. of speaking of powers, what did you just get there, Marcus? I got more force since I was running out of force quite a bit in that last fight, so I wanted to remedy that a bit. And what have we got here? A big reveal. It feels different than the other two. Yeah, our second dungeon. Oh. I'm very impressed. We did it. You know, this is a pretty good spot to end, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Give us a scenic shot of that. That's beautiful. Look at that. It's, look at the rain. Yeah, I mean, we're to the. I, I love that we're to the point of like concept art, you know, just being it, it, the thing. in game yeah. looking exactly the same as the concept art. It's so cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll be back. Like I said, next week we'll have a lot of streaming going on. Uh, I believe starting with Monday, the multiplayer Monday. I'm not sure if that's going. Uh, Dan might know better than me. The multiplayer um, Monday is 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 happening. Uh, okay. Uh, yep. <laughs> All right. Well, that's that's Monday morning. We'll have more to talk about streamwise very soon, and uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun with a lot of cool games and a lot of cool people. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Uh, again, congrats to Brazilian. We'll get that issue off as soon as we have it in hand. Uh, should be a few weeks for the gold edition, but uh, yeah, we'll get that off. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in again, and we'll be back very soon. Thanks again for all the support, too. Uh, hope everybody has a great weekend, and we'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.